The hordes of oblivion invade Cyrodiil. No! Almost all hope is lost. No! There's but one man that can turn the tides of chaos and bring back peace. This is the Emperor. Not only is he the most powerful being in Cyrodiil, but he also commands the entire Imperial army. His archenemy, Merun's Dagon the leader of the invasion, and a pest in the Emperor's eyes. I intend to cut through the Daedra like a knife cuts through butter, and show you guys how I managed to make all of this work, and how I put this absolute unit of a godlike creature together. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra Please, are inside no. the walls! The gates of Oblivion yawned wide, unleashing upon the city of Kvatch a maelstrom of infernal fury. Deidre overran Kvatch last night. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Run when you can! I hope you guys are ready. Let's move, man. Let's go. This is a battle. Come on. <laughs> Can't let them win like this. It was too much. Too fast. There are still people trapped in there. No. The Legion is here to help. We're gonna destroy them. Come on. Get him. Get him. We're almost finished. Let's go. A few of you guys died, but the Daedra underestimated the power of the Legion. Let's do this. I'm gonna take a souvenir. This is also a good souvenir. This has been a victory, but it's far from over. With me in charge, this is going to be easy. We saw the smoke from the gold road while out on patrol. We'll be right behind you. Let's move. You're improvising, I see. <laughs> We're almost at the castle. This should be good. That the best you can do? The Count is dead, but this battle is over. The Daedra are driven out. We've been victorious. After the liberation of Kavach, several priests have been found dead. The Emperor travels to Cloud Ruler Temple and reconvenes with the Blades. His personal protectors, trustworthy spies, have found information about a cult called the Mythic Dawn. It seems that the Mythic Dawn are putting their plan to attack Bruma into motion. Secretive worshippers of Merun's Dagon led by Mankar Cameron, a fanatic. He must be stopped. We're here, guys. This is gonna be quick. That's what she said! <laughs> we'll storm the dungeon and kill Mankar Cameron. Dawn is breaking. Look at these fools just opened their door for us. Give me your possessions and put on this initiate's robe. I'm not gonna give you all of my precious stuff. No, 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 no. We're cleaning this place out. What? Neither oh! Oh! Ah! You are weak! Charge! <laughs> Down. Let's move in. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I give up. I do not fear death. We're done here, man. We should also confiscate this book. It seems important. And save this lizard. I mean, Argonian. And you're free. Okay, good. I do not fear death. There you go. Assault! Assault! The master's I do not fear death. I do not move. Let's move, let's move. The dawn is breaking. Thank you for saving me, friend. All I know is that they intended to sacrifice me to their dark god. Okay, man. This was very successful. I'm proud of all of you guys. Well, one guy. <laughs> The raid on the Mythic Dawn was a success. The cult is nothing but ashes and dust, but there are spies still hiding among the civilians. They must be eradicated. How you cannot I'm just warming up! Vigilance. You pathetic uh, oh. Greetings. Oh my god. <laughs> what exactly do you require of me? Spare a point. Get him, get him. Look out! Oh, 
Afternoon. Anytime now. Stay away. Stay away. I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. We always see them near the rune stone at dusk. Let's flush them out. Okay. <laughs> what do you need? I do not fear death. There's only one spy remaining. The guards are on full alert. Where is he? I can feel him here. Show up, idiot. He's here. This is the part where you fall and bleed to death. I do not fear death. Your arms are all the same. Be glad. No flesh and no fury. Oh, wait. That's the best you can do. Gates to oblivion open everywhere. The Imperial Army is working at full capacity. I've been pleading for troops for Cyrodiil for weeks, but the generals assure me that the entire Imperial Army is already fully committed. We were ordered out to attack the Daedra coming out of that oblivion gate. Let's go. Why won't you die? For the Empire! Okay, man. We got this. Let's teach those bastards a lesson. <laughs> you dare to oh. the might of the Imperial Nation? <laughs> Body's still warm. Looks like there's a killer about. Yeah, no sh. Come on, man. <laughs> nice. It was a privilege to fight by your side. Likewise, friend. <laughs> the captain said you've been inside one of those... Oblivion gate things. Said you knew how to destroy them. Yes. I sure hope you can help us. To fight these demons means to unite the entire province. A troublesome task, to be sure. Huzzah! We got this, man. Fine greetings to you. You sure gave those damn Daedra what for? You have more than earned our help. Let no one say Leowin did not do its part to uphold the Empire. I we'll can now gladly send aid to rulers. The gods are watching this story unfold with great interest. The Emperor seeks guidance from his warrior ancestors and frees them from their slumber. We go now to Aetherius without shame. Talos himself grants him his blessing. Soldiers from all over Cyrodiil rally to annihilate the last remnants of Dagon's invasion. This battle will be so epic and amazing. Wait, before we fight, I want to show you the whole setup. Okay guys, this is my presentation. This is kind of how I made this build, so let's get into it. So I use the Imperial Dragon Armor, because it looks the same and you can actually see it in your inventory. Problem with this armor is that it's never actually meant to be worn by the player, so they never made a model in the inventory. Anyways, the kicker in this is that the armor is uh, insane actually, it's very insane and it's way better than the Imperial Dragon Armor. It's just that I wanted to see it, so yeah. So this one is interesting because there are three robes in the game. First one is the one without any enchantment, so that one sucks. The third one is actually good, but it doesn't show up in the inventory. I don't know why. That's the one you want. It shows up in your inventory and you have insane stats. Like, insane stats. Look at these cheeky transitions. <laughs> okay, so... 
Um, factions are important here and they're interesting because you can actually set your relationships with every NPC. So you start off with the command, then you use an ID for the faction, and then you use a number. And some factions just use zero, so that's fun to use. You can actually add yourself to families. It's pretty stupid, okay? It's pretty stupid. These are some of the factions you can use. For this build in particular, it's pretty good because guards can like you now. For example, this would add us to castle factions, which means I can just roam around castles and take stuff. I think the most important one here is probably the palace faction. This one is so that everyone in the palace likes you, including the monks. I ran across a ghost once. Seemed to suck the energy right out of me. I added one more command for the monks because I wasn't sure. Fuck, I had a voice crack. But you can add any faction you want. It doesn't matter. The Riverview faction is the one I used so I could kill the spies and didn't have a problem with the guards. The Emperor faction is, I think, self-explanatory. <laughs> and the uh, Moth Priest, as you can see here, uh, as you can see the Moth Priest in my presentation, uh, his head got kind of cut off. The next thing I used for a lot of the footage is that the guards would follow me this is interesting because there's a lot of script packages but for some reason if you use different ones i found they followed me for a while and then they stopped this works pretty efficiently you also saw a lot of guards now there's a command called place at me that you might think i used but no i just copied all of the guards this command sucks okay it corrupts saves and you don't want that now we can just add some op items Level up our stats, and we're ready to go. There's also a way to get and equip the Amulet of Kings, but I have better equipment. And the amulet kept disappearing for some reason. The Battle of Bruma was a great victory. The Mythic Dawn have learned that we are not defenseless. This was a great victory. I sure hope nothing bad happens now. The invasion should be over, right? The invasion was not over. Dagon's infernal rage ensnared the Imperial City. No! Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard no! is overwhelmed. Training of thousands has passed through me. Die, the joined blood of kings and gods. Die, 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 die. The divine power of Akatosh. So that's it folks, Dagon was vanquished and the Emperor victorious. They even made me a dragon statue. <laughs> By the god! Looks like you are in some trouble. Since we're friends, don't worry. I'll look the other way and take care of that fine for you. Nobody goes into the mountains but hunters and thieves on the lamb. Hey. What? <laughs> Blackwood isn't so bad. Farewell. I hope you've enjoyed this clip, and I'll see you guys next time.